I want to take this opportunity to, to address some of the issues that are being raised. Because we, we are not going to, as the African National Congress, going to allow self-appointed Mr. Parliament to continue behaving and mistreating us just for the sake of television when we are discussing issues of national importance. It is important, it is important Mr. President, to announce that we do have schemes for actors at the DTI. We can help him because clearly when he was growing up he had ambitions to be on television. So we'll make that available for him uh, so that he can continue to act. This is a place to make laws. This is not a place to act. Our brother from Soweto who always speak with confidence about everything broken, I can only think about words like uh, Muruti Watsozi when I think about him. I can think about the puppet of the master, the sellout, the traitor, the token, the drug lord, the sex pest as reported in the paper, the mouthpiece of monopoly capital, order. and worse of all, Honorable just Deputy the shallow Minister. directionless. Point of order. Deputy Minister, can you take a seat? What is the point of order, Honorable Stenazen? I don't think I need to explain to you what the point of order. I hope you were listening. Mm. But the member made very serious allegations against another member without bringing substantive, uh, a substantive motion. Called him a traitor, a variety of other expletives. I would ask that he's asked to withdraw those. Honorable uh, House Chairperson. Order, Honorable Member. Before I rule, can I take another point of order from Honorable Deputy Chief Whip? Uh, Honorable House Chairperson, the Deputy Minister point did, of order. didn't mention point of order. any member of this House by name, so we don't know who's that person. Thank you. Point of order. Order, honourable members. House Chair. I have heard you, honourable no, I'd Stenison. like to make another point of order. Okay, can I rule on the first one? I think it, they, they are congruent, so I think it's important. Can I rule then on the first one before you make yes, the second sure. one? I would ask the table staff to look at Hansard and then come back. No, you can't say no, no, because I've done so and I ruled afterwards once I got the response. I don't want to misquote anybody. And that's why I need to look at the hands side because it does record the pattern. Honorable Stainers and another point of order. Madam Speaker, the Deputy Minister, while seated in this chair, leaned across to myself and to Honorable Waters and mouthed the words, I will fuck you up. Oh. It is unacceptable and I would ask that he withdraws those. Madam Speaker, I also watched him say exactly those words. It's exactly what I was rising on. I absolutely watched him say that. Foul language. I Order. Didn't say, I didn't say it. I must continue. Order. Honorable Deputy Minister, did you say the words as no. expressed? I didn't. Order. And I proceed. Order, honourable members. Order, honourable members. Don't insult me. Order, honourable members. Deputy Minister, can you take your seat? Honourable members. Order, order, honourable members. The chief whip of the Democratic Alliance raised a point of order, alleging that the Deputy Minister made certain references while sitting on the floor, which obviously there was no way I could hear seated where I'm sitting. Honorable Kola made the same. I then asked the Deputy Minister whether he pronounced those words, and he said no. Order, honourable members. Honourable Singh. Honourable Chairperson, I think this is quite a serious allegation. And it brings down the decorum and dignity of this House and the conduct of members in this House. 
I would appeal to you to investigate, listen to Hansard, and if that, those sentiments were expressed, then the Honourable Member needs to be brought to book and discipline. Thank you. Thank you, Honourable uh, Madam, Singh. Madam House Chair. Madam House Chair. Honourable Stainazen, what's the point? With respect, order? Madam House Chair, this is a very serious matter. It is indeed. It is your responsibility as a presiding officer, even though we're members of the Democratic Alliance, to protect us. I would like, through you, to make an appeal to the Deputy Minister to man up, accept responsibility, and withdraw. Order. Honourable Stainazen. Honourable Stenays and order, honourable members, you want the chair to respond, isn't it? Okay. You made allegations, indeed, which are serious. Seated here as the chair, very difficult for me to rule on the remarks which were made, which I could not hear. And I've asked the deputy minister. He said he didn't say so. Members, wait. You again said you have heard. Given that the chair who's supposed to rule on the matter didn't hear, I will investigate and come back to the House. Honorable Deputy Minister. Honorable Chair. Proceed. Order. <coughs> no, honorable point? Chair. Order, Honorable Lozi, which point are you rising on? Can, may I please address you, Honorable Chair? Can you indicate what point you are rising on? I want to address you on this important ruling that you've just given, uh, just to assist the House. Uh, the, oh, honorable Mzwandi, I uh, uh, TV. Order, Honorable Lozi. So Thank I you very to, much. I want you to indeed check because. Honourable Mzadi Honourable is known for using vulgar language generally, Honourable Mzadi. even on national television. Honourable Mzadi, thank you very much. Can you take your seat? I think, honourable members, the ruling as made is enough. There is no way the chairperson can make a ruling on something she had not heard. And when the member who's alleged to have said those words deny, that is why I said I will investigate. And I think let's respect that process. And we will then come back to the Speaker, house. Speaker, may I address you? A uh, chair. Order. Chair. There are now two of you standing. I want to recognize Honorable Kola, who was standing before you. Thank you. I, um, I uh, thank you for the ruling, and I just want to offer any number of affidavits from this side for all the people who did absolutely hear for as your part, benefit. Thank you, Honorable Kola. Indeed, Honorable as part chair. of the investigations, we would actually welcome all members who might attest to it and those who will actually have anything against, if any. Honorable Waters. Chair, I was going to ask for clarity on exactly what you intend investigating and how you will go about it. Since, Honorable Waters. Honorable Chair. Since you said you didn't hear anything. Honorable Waters. I'm not going to allow this to be brushed under the carpet. Honorable Waters, order. You have asked a question which I'm sure member and members of your party, particularly Kola and Honorable Member Stenazen, have raised a question on a statement alleged to have been made by Deputy Minister. And indeed, I indicated to the House that seated where I'm sitting, there was no way I could have heard the Honorable Member. And Honorable Singh made a point of order, which I agree with, that this indeed is serious allegation, which brings down the decorum of this house. And precisely in order for us to advise members on their conduct to rule appropriately, there is no way that can be done without any investigation. And your Honorable Member, Honorable Bernard, has even offered that they would make uh, affidavits. So I think it is very clear what we are investigating, Honorable Waters, unless you would want us to leave the matter without any investigation. And therefore, you can't expect the chair to rule if that's the case. May I ask Honorable Deputy Minister to proceed with your speech? Madam, Ch Madam Chair. Honorable, Honorable Chair. Order, Honorable Member. What point are you rising on? Honorable Ch 
I rise on a point of order on the on the basis of the ruling of just made. Yes. In that, can you please act with fairness and family on all unparliamentary utterances made here? And it must be on record of all the things that the EFF has done since the beginning of the fifth parliament. We have not been as insulting order, honorable member. and as rogue as the deputy order, minister. Order, honorable member. Respect order, and honorable member, can you please take your seat? Family on what he has can said. you please take your seat? Honorable member, what I said is that I will no. investigate. Yeah. So I am not sure what ruling of fairness are you referring to. Can Honor you please proceed with the debate? In yes, the honorable chair, may I address you? Okay. Order, we, honorable we can, deputy. Yes, we cannot have a chief whip of the majority party of the opposition party insulting the deputy minister after you made a ruling. He's been pointing fingers at him and he's been uh, insulting him. I've been sitting here listening to members of the DA, some of them saying that he's spineless. So we cannot take that. Point of order, Madam House Chair. Madam Chair, Order. with respect, with respect, I would ask that the Honourable Deputy Chief Whip of the Majority Party does her job and disciplines her member from using profanities before she comes and starts lecturing me Order, about my behaviour Order, Honourable Member. Order, Honourable Members. A point of order has been raised. And I would like to ask Honorable Stainies and whether the allegations in terms of the statement he made, did you make? Madam, Madam Speaker, he is spineless and he is a coward and I stand by that. Can you please withdraw those statements? Are you wanting me to withdraw two matters that are not unparliamentary? You still are going to come back and you allowed in this house the most vile and disgusting uh, allegations you made against Nason. Honourable Maimani, and now you're asking me to withdraw two words that are frankly parliamentary. Honourable members, you are not helping the House. And can I please order, order Honourable members, earlier on, order Honourable Ndozi, can you take your seat? I asked each one of us seated here to respect the debate. And frankly, in the manner in which we are going about, we are not doing so. Order, Honorable Member, Honorable Steinhazen, and Honorable Members of the DA, can we please listen one and to one another? I had said. I will investigate. And you all continue to make interjections, and correctly so. Other members hear what others of you are saying, as you yourself alleged what you heard. I've asked you, did you say so? Order, honorable members, I haven't finished. You Can you take a question? seat? I'm outlining a process. I'm saying when Honorable Deputy, Speak, Deputy Chair raised a point of order, because I did not hear, I asked you whether indeed you mentioned those words. And you repeated them without saying yes or no. You continue to repeat and then refer on a matter that I had said I will come back to. And really, I would ask honorable members that we respect the debate. Can we please respect this debate? You can, honorable Waters, can we please not coach it? I have outlined the process in response of the allegations that was raised. And I think let's allow Deputy Minister to proceed. Honorable Deputy Minister. Thank you, thank you very much, uh, uh, Madam Speaker. I just want to say that the spineless coward is someone Order. who quotes Order. President Mbegi with confidence, Order. quotes Honorable President Mandela with Honorable confidence, Masina. 
because he's ashamed Masina. to quote Helmand Suzman that belongs to the DA. You are not going to appropriate Masina. the right of the African National Congress and take away the heritage of our leadership that we have built over time. They were not built or they did not struggle to make you shine when you sell out the revolution. So we must correct you. The hands that feed you is Helen Zile. That's where you must focus. When all of us sit here to defend our leader, you must be focusing on what you and the opposition do. Working with your madam who is not in the house. Your strategy Order. of the so-called black Honorable leader will Masina. backfire. Black people Masina. will have no confidence in Honorable the party. Masina, can you please take a seat? Honorable members, can we please allow the debate to proceed? You have order, order. You have raised a point of order earlier on. I indicated I will proceed to investigate on matters you have raised. There is absolutely no reason for you to drown a member not to be heard. Can we please respect one another? Honorable Deputy Minister, proceed. The party that has sold out to white liberals, I'm sure they know they will be punished. They can make childish noise today we will continue ensuring that we deliver that which the people of South Africa have said we must do as a ruling party. The ANC is the only party in this parliament with all this little noise that has received 62% majority to rule. We come here on a daily basis to focus on the program of government because we are a government at work. We are here in this vote to defend the vote of vote number one of the president and I was telling you about the international work of the president, only if you cared to listen. But we have no time for cowards like yourselves. We will continue delivering as the ANC. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. Order, honorable members. Order. Honorable members, I can see that indeed you now need a break.